Hey guys, it's uh, Ryan here again. Uh, this is a bit of a solo video. Uh, I've just taken Boss for a pretty long walk and uh, he's tired and uh, he's feeling a bit camera shy at the moment. So I thought I would take this opportunity to um, point out some of the types of toys uh, that your dog will require. Um, just a short story about that. Uh, when I first got Boss at uh, six weeks old, I went out a week later and bought a $300 pair of DVS skate shoes. Uh, I owned those for about two months uh, while he was kind of going through that teething phase. He uh, absolutely destroyed them and I was not happy at all. Um, so from that point on, I made it a priority to provide him with the right toys that would stimulate him and also put up to uh, the type of punishment uh, that he gives them. Um, in the beginning, uh, through teething, I'd buy him cheap little plastic toys from the $2 shop, cheap cheap stuff, um, and he'd annihilate them in a day. Um, I also have a 13-year-old fox terrier. Um, she's nowhere near as well trained as Boss, but she listens. Uh, the reason for that is she was somebody else's dog for 10 years. Um, we inherited her through a family tragedy so um but she's still good she listens and whatnot and uh, she will feature in this video uh in boss's place um and i thought it was only fair she got a look into so um anyway yeah i'll begin on the types of toys uh one of boss's toys that he's had he's had this for three years uh it's a little rubber tire I, i'm not sure if it's real or not it, it feels real uh little bit of wear in there as you can see um, yeah this this is uh, three years he's had it I throw it I play tug with him with it uh, it gets lost in the garden hit with the lawnmower everything he sits there and continually chews it and it's taken him three years to get there um, and he does have a rather reasonably uh, good set of teeth on him so um, yeah, so that's one of the toys that I use uh, with him a lot, um, and it's it's good. So I'd recommend something along the lines of this for a larger dog. Um, yeah, they're just you don't have to replace them as much and stuff. Uh, another toy that I have of his is what we call Tug Tug, because uh, he gets it and he tugs on it, and it's oh, probably a, a meter and a half long rope. Uh, what it's. Uh, width, girth, whatever you call it, I'm not too sure, but this takes a good beating. This is about a year old. Um, I make sure that this one doesn't get left outside. It only cost me, I, I think actually my wife bought it for about $10, uh, New Zealand dollars, uh, so it was quite cheap. Um, yeah, so this one doesn't get left outside. I don't let him get it wet. Um, this is probably his favourite toy. Um, we're always tugging and playing with it. It is an inside toy, although that might sound stupid. Uh, he is aware that the only place he can play with it is on the kitchen floor. Uh, he's not allowed around the flat screen TVs, Xboxes, China cabinets, anything like that. He knows that. Uh, he'll get told off. The only time this makes it around the TV is if we're watching the TV. He'll run, run in with it and drop it at my feet. Uh, I might be able to get a video of that sometime. Um, you also, as well, it's it's... It would be a smart idea to choose uh, your dog's play toy uh, appropriate to their size. Um, you know, you obviously wouldn't buy something like this for a little five kilo foxy uh, like what I've got. So this is my big boy's toy. Um, another toy that I have for him is <laughs> quite a funny one actually. Uh, my pit bull goes absolutely crazy for bubbles. Um, I just buy a standard uh, bubble bubble solution from, again, the $2 shop, the warehouse, wherever I can find it cheap. Uh, one thing that I will point out, I water it down um, because after you blow a few bubbles and he's up and he's jumping, getting into it, uh, the solution inside the bottle uh, tends to hurt his eyes. And, uh, I mean, it's safe for children. I, 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 I severely doubt it would hurt him in any way, but I just think it irritates his eyes a little bit, so I, I tend to water it down. The bubbles aren't as great, but if you're patient and, um, you know, it, it's still good. It works anyway, so yeah, bubbles. 
Um, another toy that I have for him, he's, he's gone through maybe 10 toys in his life, and then I kind of smartened up. And, uh, oh, hello. Did you come in from your nap? Come here. Come here. Boss. Come say hello. Up. Up. No, you tired. He's a very tired boy at the moment. Yep, he's taken off. A very tired boy. He's had a huge day. Um, but again, sorry about that, guys. And another toy is a plastic bottle. Very cheap. Um, they don't make a heck of a lot of mess, although he does tend to chew the cap off the bottle. And once he gets the cap off, he'll leave it alone. Uh, and he'll bite it and flatten it. He, he's a very clever dog. He's figured out how to get the cap off very quickly. What he'll do is he'll bite the end and he'll puncture the bottle and then he'll squash all of the air out of it so that he can hold it in his paws and then and then chew the cap off. And usually he's done with it until I go to pick it up and throw it in the bin. Um, at that point, oh no, no, that's my bottle. Uh, don't touch that. Uh, another toy that I have, I'm going to move on to my little fox terrier now, I will probably squeak this and she's going to come jump up on my lap, again this falls into the category of choosing the appropriate size toy for your dog, uh, my big boy boss would annihilate this within 10 minutes easily, um, and she's got another one, it's a little dumbbell that's probably her favourite one, and her little burger, um, and she's got a turkey as well, but I don't think she's too too phased with this one um, so yeah and boss also knows that he's not allowed to uh, play with these um, if he does he will get told off and sent to the naughty corner um, I, I don't believe in, in whacking my dog um, or anything like that he gets sent to the naughty corner and just daddy being disappointed in him is bad enough so I'll give this a little squeak I'll pull the chair back a little bit and I'll see what happens here she comes. Penny, come get it. Come on. Up. Up. Come here, kiddo. So I'll put this up here. Uh, I'll just grab this little one here. She's about 13 years old. She's very possessive over her toys, um, unlike Boss, uh, because I had him from such a young age to be able to uh, train him and um, not allow him to be like that. Um, that is to no fault of her own. Um, you know, that's just just the way she is. Um, she's not so good with children, so uh, it's again also very important to socialise your dog uh, at a young age uh, with children if you want them to get on. She's not overly aggressive. Uh, she's just possessive. If she has a biscuit on the floor or uh, someone goes near her food, uh, she tends to be a little bit snappy and growly. Um, so yeah, again, um, bonding. It's all about bonding, really. Um, you just have to build that bond. And once you do, it, it's pretty unbreakable. Um, I went away for work for nine months uh, a year ago. Sorry, I had a little mental meltdown there. I uh, went away for nine months a year, about a year ago. And boss, I hadn't seen him the whole time. And I came back and he remembered exactly who I was and everything was the same. Uh, it was like I never left. Um, so yeah, you when you establish that, it's it's unbreakable. Um, I have a few more toys lying around. There are some outside uh, toys, like rugby balls and things, but he puts his teeth through them and they're just big chunks of plastic now, but he still likes to play with them. Um, so these are all the types of inside toys uh, and just a few ideas about picking, you know, the, the right toy for your dog. Um, I don't really believe that there is... A right or wrong toy but if you want value for your money and uh, you know you want things to last and you want your dog to get maximum enjoyment out of it um, then it's probably a good idea to shop around and just have a little uh, you know look at bits and pieces um, I'm always looking for new ideas for dog toys um, I get pretty creative on stuff so if anybody out there's got any suggestions or ideas or anything that you can share with me I'd be Absolutely, I'd be down for that. That would be cool. Um, so yeah, if, uh, you know, if you like the video, give it a like. Um, any recommendations? I want to hear them. I'm, I'm open to all forms of criticism. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and um, 
I hope you take something away from it. Um, there'll be more videos to follow. So um, thank you.